Well, today we're demonstrating Sage XOS, and in this case, we are using the Oni uh, bootloading uh, uh, system from Open Computing to remotely manage a server in a data center environment. So, what we have set up is both a remote server, and then on our back counter, we're going to have a virtual server. And between the two, we're going to demonstrate that a operating system can be taken down, or actually the platform can be taken down. We can change which operating system will load through the ONI system, and then bring it back up, and the system will both provision and load the operating system over the network without the need for any uh, hard drive or other form of storage other than it's going to pull the image from the storage of this the virtual server across the network load it into RAM and then unpack it and run it as the operating system on this particular platform all right so what we've got here is the system that's currently running what I'm going to do is make a change virtually as if I was in the uh, IT for that particular company I'm going to make a change to which image should be loaded when the system comes back up after a restart so I'm going to go ahead and power down my <coughs> remote system and in this case the remote system had been running in Ed Ubuntu Linux operating system. I'm going to switch it to a tiny core operating system. So I could have done this through a scripted automated way, or in this case I'm going to do it through a series of mouse clicks. So I previously had Ed Ubuntu loaded. I'm going to select tiny core. So what that did is make a change to my configuration on the server. And when I bring back up the remote system, we're going to see that it picks up the changes that we just made. <coughs> so as I power this up, all that is currently loaded and running on this platform is a Sage XOS image, which we have developed from open source, from Coreboot, and it is embedded within the Flash ROM of that particular platform, so that the only thing running currently is that boot image. And then it will go auto-discover across the network what its behavior should be, and that is the ONI system that we're going to use to load up the operating network system. In this case, we're not using an operating system for a networking environment, we're using a Linux operating system to simulate that particular behavior and things like that. And so, what it's doing currently, it has already pulled the image across the network, and it unpacked it into RAM, and ran it. And it is currently running free of any dependency on that virtual server at this point. So, that, that's the basic demonstration. What uh, is significant about it is that the firmware based on core boot and then configured in a special way by Sage to include what we call the Sage XOS features is able to reside within a 4 megabyte flash ROM image on the system board and as it comes out of a power on reset then it is able to load up that particular image free of any other dependency within the data center. So what we're actually loading at that point is a small Linux kernel with just the essentials to bring up that particular platform, enable the networking, and then reach across the network to find its behaviors from the virtual server.